Today in our 2011 GMC Sierra, we'll be installing the Concha Prodigy P3 brake controller, part number 90195. To begin our install, we'll first locate the manufacturer's brake control port wiring. Here on the driver's side, in front of the fuse panel, taped to the manufacturer's wiring, will be the brake controller wiring. Now to access the brake controller port wiring, it'll usually be taped to the manufacturer's wiring so you can simply cut it free. Ours is not, so we'll just go ahead and pull it down. Now I'll go ahead and straighten it out and then cut each wire to the same length. Stripping back the wires. Now with the manufacturer's wiring prepared, we'll go ahead and add the butt connectors as necessary. And the larger yellow butt connectors will be for the red wire with the black tracer and the dark blue wire. The blue butt connectors for the smaller wires, the white and the light blue with the white tracer. Note, in this application, the orange wire will not be used. Now we'll go ahead and bring in our brake controller pigtail wiring. This wiring harness is provided with the brake controller and will connect directly to the butt connectors. We'll start with the manufacturer's light blue wire with a white tracer and the red wire from our brake controller pigtail. This will be the brake switch signal that is active only when the brake pedal is depressed. Next, we'll go ahead and take the manufacturer's red wire with a black tracer and the black wire from our brake controller pigtail. This will be the power to our unit. Now we can go ahead and match color for color, white to white and blue to blue. Now with all the connections made, it's a good idea to wrap up these connection point with some black electrical tape. I also use it to help secure the bundle of wire and clean up our install look. Now with our wires taped up, we'll need to move to the brake controller mounting bracket. We'll need to mount the bracket and then the brake controller. To mount the bracket, we'll use the self-tapping screws provided with our install kit. We're gonna mount it here just above the center console. Now with the bracket mounted, we're ready to go ahead and mount the brake controller. Note, because of the tight clearances, I'm gonna go ahead and take my brake control wiring harness and plug it into the back of the brake controller before I mount it. Now, we'll simply plug it into the back of the brake controller and then use the screws or hardware provided to secure the brake controller to the brake controller bracket. Next, we'll need to secure the wiring up underneath the dash. Using some black zip ties, we'll go ahead and secure the wiring And then we'll cut off the excess from the zip ties to clean up our install look. Now that we're finished here in the cabin of the vehicle, we'll move to the hood area. Here we'll need to connect two power feeds to our fuse box. The first power feed is located on the wiring harness that runs below the brake master cylinder and booster. You can see the red wire is taped to the outside of the main wiring harness. We'll go ahead and cut it free and pull it up to the fuse box. Then we'll go ahead and remove the fuse box cover. You can locate the next pigtail that'll need to be connected between the fuse box and the inner fender well on the driver's side. Once again, we'll cut it free and pull it out to the open ports on the fuse box. We'll go ahead and secure the ring terminals to the ports. and then we'll use some black zip ties to secure our wiring. We'll cut off the excess from the zip ties to clean up our install look and then reinstall the fuse box cover. And that's it and we're ready to hit the road. And that does it for the install of the Takancha Prodigy P3 brake controller, part number 90195 
on our 2011 GMC Sierra.